What did you do at first? Did you take steps? What what steps and how did you start unlearning all these uh, teachings that they were not serving you? Well, first of all, I'd read a great deal of the Catholic literature. You know, Thomas Aquinas and Augustine and all those fellows and uh, trying to find the answer. I couldn't, they didn't have it and I, I couldn't find it. Then I started reading uh, the Protestant literature, C.S. Lewis. Uh, they gave more uh, simplistic answers and they, they, they registered with me, uh, but I couldn't find um, a solution because they, when they all get back to the bottom line, they they want you to, to give me money, give me money, give me money. <laughs> and uh, so then when I got to be 64 or so, I, I, I had read enough to know that uh, nobody has the answer. And, and that's when my search stopped. And I, I, I read Mr. Watkins' book, uh, uh, The Seven uh, World Views, and that really made sense. And uh, then I realized with seven competing world views, we can never have peace in the world because each of the world views uh, advocates the use of force to impose your will on another and your then each tribe or each worldview espouses its own characteristics and then you're to you can't have peace unless everybody believes as you do and that's just an impossible situation and so i wrote my book and i it, it didn't you go anywhere but i don't see how we can ever have world peace when we uh, don't have a common definition of love. And that is so true. In, in, in a way, even the definition of love changes for everyone. Yeah, I, they are. They are. Uh, and they're all based on uh, selfishness. The definition of love that we have is uh, selfish. And by my definition, it's impossible to be selfish when you have gratitude for and appreciation of the person loved. Um, I'm wondering how we can love the way you say, showing gratitude and appreciation um, in a way that the other can understand. How do you show love and appreciation, let's say, to your wife these days? She's different, right? She's not like you, so we're all different. <laughs> oh, no, she's not at all like me. Uh, first of all, there can't be a, an understanding of love until we have a common understanding of my definition. Because your upbringing, parents don't know how to parent. They get married and they, they have kids and they don't know any more about it than fly. So first, you have to get an attitude about gratitude and appreciation. And secondly, you have to not impose your will on another. Now, that's, that's very uh, heavy. That's very tough to do. But then when we have two people, four people, six people, eight people, you know, cells that would, would go and, and appreciate that, then you can um, begin to have a new society. I think of the spaceship trips to Mars, you know, how will they select those people? Will they make it a totalitarian, uh, that the captain is a king? Uh, or will they have a communal uh, dialogue? Because uh, th that'll be a, a definite definition of, of how they will start the new future in Mars. <laughs> 